In the last session, you study respiratory system. Respiratory system consists of nose, pharynx, trachea, two lungs, diaphragm. Yes. Today we will study trachea or trachea. At the top of trachea, there is larynx. What's the larynx? Larynx is the voice box. Larynx is the voice box. Yeah. And second, trachea has epi glutes. Epi glutes. What's the epi glutes? Epi glutes close the trachea during the swallowing. During the swallowing. Yes, trachea has a big lotus to close the trachea during the swallowing. Number three, trachea has cilia. What's the cilia? Cilia is the eject of the strange object. Eject of the strange object. Yes. Trachea has incomplete, incomplete cartilaginous rings. Incomplete cartilaginous rings. What's this? To make trachea open all the time. To make trachea open all the time. Yes. If a trachea has larynx, larynx, the name of it, voice box. Number two, trachea has epi glutes to close the trachea during swallowing. Number three, trachea has cilia, cilia to eject up the strange object. Trachea has incomplete, incomplete cartilaginous, incomplete cartilaginous rings to make trachea open all the time. This is the incomplete cartilaginous rings. Yes. And this is the epi glutes. Epi glutes. And this is the voice box. Voice box in the name of it? Larynx. Yeah. At the end of trachea. Where is the end? This is the end of trachea, yeah. This is two, two bronchi, two bronchi, yeah. This is the end of trachea. The end of trachea, two bronchi. Two bronchi divided into bronchioles. Bronchioles is ended with alveoli, alveoli. Alveoli in the two lots. Yes, two lungs in the thoracic, thoracic cavity. What's the thoracic cavity? Thoracic cavity is the name of it, chest cavity or thoracic cavity. Yes, this is the thoracic cavity, thoracic cavity or chest cavity. The two lungs. Two lungs is located in thoracic cavity, surrounded by, surrounded by ribs. What's the ribs? Ribs to protect the lungs. To protect the lungs. Yeah. Lungs contain two bronchi. Two bronchi contain bronchioles and this with alveoli. Alveoli. Yeah. Alveoli in two lungs. Yes. Alveoli. What's the alveoli? Alveoli. This is the alveoli. Yes. What's the alveoli? Alveoli have thin wall. Thin wall. Surrounded by blood capillaries. Blood capillaries. What's this? What's the function of the alveoli? What's the meaning of function? Function meaning job. Yes. To make gas exchange. What's the meaning of gas exchange between oxygen and carbon dioxide? Between oxygen and carbon dioxide, make gas exchange. Yes, during inhalation, inhalation and exhalation. Yes, this meaning gas exchange. Gas exchange. Yes, you have alveoli make gas exchange. Gas exchange in alveoli. Alveoli in two lungs. Yes. Diaphragm. What's the diaphragm? Diaphragm is a muscle. What's the meaning of muscle? Muscle is meaning up, down, up, down, yeah. And spread between two cavity. What's the cavity? Cavity is, this is the thoracic or chest cavity. Thoracic, 
راسی and this is the abdominal abdominal diaphragm separate separate between two cavity one is thoracic cavity and number two abdominal cavity diaphragm is a muscle what's the meaning of muscle up and down yeah separate between two cavity number one thoracic and abdominal okay what's the function of diaphragm diaphragm it helps in mechanism mechanism of respiration what's the mechanism inhalation and exhalation and we will study it okay diaphragm help in mechanism of respiration mechanism of respiration yes inhalation and exhalation inhalation is a process air rich in oxygen yes this is the inhalation make inhalation yes air rich in oxygen enter or out the two lungs yes enter the two lungs exhalation is the opposite of inhalation yes this is the process air rich in carbon dioxide and water vapor yeah inhalation air rich in oxygen enter the lungs exhalation air rich in carbon dioxide and water vapor outside the lungs yes number two diaphragm to make thoracic cavity thoracic cavity when you take inhalation the thoracic cavity become large make inhalation thoracic cavity become large but make exhalation thoracic cavity become narrow what's the meaning of narrow narrow meaning small small yeah thoracic cavity in inhalation become large thoracic cavity in exhalation become narrow yes number three diaphragm diaphragm thoracic cavities become large diaphragm move up or move down yes move down to make thoracic cavity large if our diaphragm make a move down and contract what's the meaning of contract contract meaning it's become very small diaphragm contracts and moves it down yeah exhalation diaphragm relax make exhalation yes diaphragm relax and moves up why moves up to make thoracic cavity narrow narrow is meaning very small yeah how to keep respiratory system healthy how to maintain the respiratory system healthy yeah number one eat fruits rich in vitamin c where is vitamin c vitamin c in orange guava why to protect us from cold you eat fruits rich in vitamin c to protect us from cold number two stop smoking or avoid smoking and be a passive smoker why because it leads to cancer because it leads to cancer number three keeping off the survey cold a severe cold yes number four avoid being in crowded places or ventilation places without a lot of water yeah ventilation places 